Barbados is one of five islands in the Eastern Caribbean where white spine sea urchins, known locally as sea eggs, are commercially harvested. Inexpensive in earlier times, this protein-enriched sea urchin has come to hold a place of great social and cultural significance to many Barbadians, particularly within the coastal communities of Silver Sands and Consett Bay. We have had a sea egg fishery in Barbados shortly after the European settlement in 16. Um, 27. It was a tradition at Silver Sands to see eggs. So once you are a boy, you come always come on the beach on, on an everyday basis. Once it's September, see it's catching, you're on the beach in the sea with the, all the fellas that bring them in, helping them take them up the boat and, and pulling them on the land and breaking them. By the time you finish school, then you are actually a full fledged sea diver or fisherman. From one end of the bay to the next end, would be people digging holes and waiting until the boats come down to, to get their eggs to break. I had 32 boats that used to moor right here, and the majority of them used to go harvesting eggs. The men had to go on the boat and catch the eggs, bring them in, take them off the boat and bring them on the sand. And then we women would take over from there, breaking them, washing them and preparing them for tongue. We had to bring them home, cook them to then go to and sell them, the men then had no interest in that part. Some people came to concert. Um, once you know you were getting the required amount that somebody would, you just call them back and say, and they'll be up here in less than an hour. And all the time you'll be having orders to refill all the time, so you would never leave concert in the evening with a lot of sea eggs to sell. When you leave concert, most of the eggs are already sold. At the turn of the century in 1900, in fact, there was a bill presented to Parliament recommending the first, what would have been the first three-year harvest ban um, to protect what they considered was a dwindling stock. In 2001, the, the success of that ban was, you know, that ban was considered very successful because of the number of sea eggs that were available for harvest. And after that, we had four years of really sound harvest, although we had to um, adjust the length of the, the season to match what was considering slight declines in, in, the, in the stock size. But since 2005, um, we have had no sea egg um, season. It's hard enough to get sea eggs because the ban was on from 2010. But there was still a few sea eggs over here, all over there, and, and you see there's still a few sea eggs but the, the poachers catching them out and wouldn't allow them to reproduce, so it soon won't be none at all. In 1879, legislation was put in place to protect what was called then an important um, fishery, an important um, food for, for Barbadians. Indicates that there was, the, the fishery was significant at that time, and also, of course, that there was some concern as to its um, sustainability at the time. 